Uh, it's Shalom. 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 Uh, first and foremost, let's give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakodash. Rock the Yahweh. Rock the Yahushai. Rock the Yahweh. Rock the Yahushai. Rock the Yahweh. Rock the Yahushai. And uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to you, Akim, who just pushing his truth. Daddy. In love and sincerity and in charity. Okay, this is GMS Nassau Bahamas. I'll uh, be back here again to bring you another edifying lesson to the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, this lesson will be entitled, We Have to Be Built Up in This Faith. You know, because the times are ahead, you know, as we say here in the Bahamas, the most I just have the pot on the stove. Gun. Okay, he ain't turning it on yet. Gun. You know, so the question is, uh, the question, uh, what are you going to do in that day? You know? The quest, that's, that's what the question is. What are you going to do in that day? God. You know what I mean? The most I he ain't looking for no lukewarm. And he ain't looking for no cold. Okay? He looking for hot. All right? Uh, and you all got to show him get that piece up. Uh, that's the revelation. And three. Okay. Alright, the most I looking for three and three and fifteen. The most I looking for soldiers, you know. Yeah. Brothers them who are always hot in the spirit. Brothers them who build up in this faith. Okay. So even even as we right now uh build up, okay, we need to build up be be built up even more. Done. You know, because the most I is going to turn it up. Okay. Oh my. This is book of Revelation 3 and 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. You know. Verse 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Done. You see that? So the most I ain't looking for no lukewarm. No lukewarm uh, uh, soldiers. You know what I mean? Because guess what? When the times are uh, ahead that, that, that is going to come, okay? Like I said a little earlier, what are you going to do when those times come? God. Okay? So yeah, man. Me and the brother Bashar, we are uh, talking about this topic uh, a few days ago. Okay? So you can let the brother elaborate more on it. They give you a better understanding. Done. Yeah, I came, uh, like the brother Yashuan was saying, you know, I was out doing my little thing, trying to make a little hustle, you know. And the spirit put something upon me, just sitting back thinking and wondering, what we, what are we going to do in that day? Because we know, like, right now, for example, down here in the Bahamas, they're getting ready to, 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 to set up... Uh, uh, the, 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 the outfit for to distribute the job you know probably I think it by, maybe by next week or so or maybe week after next but I speak as a mom when I say this I believe it done here God, you know yeah. we believe it done here right. they just uh, still trying to set it up because they already have it lined up on on uh, uh, who who's going to get it first law enforcement you know uh, uh, members of parliament Law enforcement, police, okay. defense force, prison officers, customs, immigrations, and so forth. Then uh, the private sector, such as the hotels and the major private uh, 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 companies, so like the food stores and so forth, okay. wholesale, the houses and stuff like that, down here in the Bahamas. And I was like, man, if you ain't truly built up in this faith, in your how about Hashem, your how shy, you're going to take that job. You're gonna take that because uh, 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 you can't be too fussy about worrying about the cares of this life. You know, it's, we're gonna see uh, basically who all is down for Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai in that day. Yeah. Because it's gonna be a lot of things you're gonna have to let go. God. We don't know exactly well. The government down here saying they ain't gonna make it mandatory upon nobody, but you know, at some point it's gonna lead. To that or what they're going to do, how they're going to set things up, it is going to lead to that in order to be able to function in this day in life. You're going to have to have, because they're really talking about 
certificates and so forth for you to produce. When you know them, them certificates going from a big size down to a card size, right. like the driver's license size and so forth, our national insurance cards and so forth like that. You're going to have to present that to be able to travel and to be able to move freely in this country here in the Bahamas. You know, I was just thinking about it. And I was like, man, if you ain't truly rooted and grounded in this truth, you're going to fall. You know, yeah. the only thing we have to rely on is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, to see us through. Yeah. So if you ain't grounded in this truth, and having that faith on our big, having that faith not big brother Salakia, yeah, you're going to fall. Yeah. All right? Uh, uh, the first piece that we can get, we can get our Hebrews uh, 11 and 1. Let's kick it off with that. We put this up raw. We just roll it in the spirit with this. Yeah. This is the book of Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Gun, the faith we have is what we see in this book. We believe on these words because we know these are the words of Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Gun. We hoping for a new kingdom, an everlasting kingdom where righteousness dwells. Lord's willing me be a part of the elect now by myself, all the Akimia, and all the like-minded brothers through the four winds of the earth. Merely the men of the great millstone, because he had the great millstone is the one hundred percent truth, not some of the truth, all the truth. Okay. And the other like-minded Akim would follow this doctrine of the great millstone, because we have the truth. Okay. Somebody have to have it, because Lord Yahweh I left it here on this earth. Take it again from the cover. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter eleven and one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Can't read. For by the elders obtained a good report, through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the words of power, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Can read. By faith, Abel offered power a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which obtained witness that he was righteous. Yahweh testifying of his gifts, and by it being dead, yet speaketh. Read. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not be that he should not see death, and was not found, because power had translated him. For before his translation, he had his testimony that he pleased Yahweh. Done. So we see. You have to believe on this word. You have to believe on this word and have that faith. Done. And when you have faith, without faith without wakes is dead. You can't say you have faith but ain't got no wakes. Done. All right, we can slip into the book of James. Gun, James 1 and 3. Gun, but right, you got it. Uh, this is James 1 and 3. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith will get patience. Gun. Gun. So we're going to have to have patience. Gun. We're going to have to have that faith in Lord Yahweh Shai to see us through. Because without it, ain't nothing happening. You know that. We're going to have, we're gonna have some dark days ahead. You know, I was just thinking about it, like I say, like the buddy I saw me and him spoke on it last week. The Lord just put it in my spirit, and I was really thinking about it. I was like, man, wow. Because we know, like I say, the job is done here. It's not yet just being made mandatory, but we know at some point they're going to make that mandatory. All right? In order to go out, you're going to need it. In order to this and our, our Martin Day King, he's been speaking of the job for quite some time now. God. You know, and, and they hoping for. Uh, uh, because we're like, for, for example, right now, a lot of our people down in this Bahamas, they even ain't aware of what's going on, like certain things, what happening in Babylon the Great. God, you know. A lot of them don't even, they even ain't aware of, 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 of taking a job, what it could do to you. God. You know, I just saw on a, on a clip on my uh, on my subscription, that's now YouTube saying they're getting ready now to take down more conspiracy, that's a conspiracy. That. God, because yeah. they know what we're saying is the truth. Right. Uh, they know what we're saying is the truth. Like I said before, I'm going to say again, you're going to trust a man to give you a job who been talking about world depopulation? Come on, man. That ain't no man to be trusted. Right. I just got to say, never trust thine enemy. Right. Never trust right. thine enemy. Right. All right? And we know they don't like us yet, but they won't be us. Right. All right? This it's is not, a, one not, right? I even saw the article with uh, Facebook. You know, Facebook saying the exact same thing. They're going to pull down... Uh, any information about uh, on Facebook about this job, saying saying uh, people spreading false information, uh, uh, conspiracy theories and so forth. Right, right. You know, but they know it, it is the truth. You see, you saying, you see it, you seeing it on YouTube, you seeing on Facebook, you seeing on Twitter, you seeing on all these different social platforms. 
But you are this saying it's false. Can. You know? All right, this is the book of uh, James 2 and 14. What do they profit? So, like, what do they profit, my brethren? Do a man say he had faith and how not works? Can faith save him? And these precepts here we go through all the time. This words on your prayer, these are the words of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. And I, 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 we, we here doing this lesson, this mainly for me, myself, because we have to be built up in having that faith in Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai to see us through, because that's the only way we're going to make it up out here. It ain't no other way. We're going to have to let go the cares of this life, the cares of this world. John. We're going to have to do that. That's the only way we're going to make it and rely on the supreme power. Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, I can jump down there. I just breeze through these precepts. James 2 and 17. Even so, faith, it had not wakes, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man say, Thou hast faith, and I have wakes. Show me thy faith without thy wakes, and I will show thee my faith by my works. You have a lot of our people that are there, Israelites, but what are you doing to, to, to please Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai? What are you doing to aid the men of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai? Because the men you see out on the highways and the Bibles, mainly the men of the great millstone, they are the mouthpiece of the Lord. We, Lord's will, we be those men are the mouthpiece of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. We constantly warning you and telling you to repent and come back to the one who own you while the doors of mercy are still open. We ain't gonna always have this platform, you know. You, like the buddy Yashu on say, you see on Facebook and YouTube doing the same thing as well. They said we bring out conspiracy theories all because we only giving you the truth. We only giving you the truth. And these messages are for you Native Americans, Negroes and Latinos only. The hell with the other nations. Prepare for slaughter, prepare for slavery. Uh, I could jump down to James 2 and 20. But will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac? his son upon the altar see thou how faith wrought with his works and by works with faith made perfect okay. all right the most i test him the most i try him you love me so your only son the only begotten son slew him okay. he believed in the words of yahweh bahashem yahweh shai and he was about to show the words as well if that angel didn't stop him he'd have been put to death okay. uh Trying to get a precept to my gutter. Go ahead, brother. All right, this is Hebrews 11 and 17. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son. Son. You know, so Abraham had, had faith. You know, Abraham do what Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai uh, basically required him to do. Son. You know, without, 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 uh, uh, without a doubt. You know, Gun. Abraham, listen. You see, and, and for us in this truth, we got to do the same as, as what Abraham did. Done. You know, when you listen to the voice of Yahweh, by some Yahweh shy. Okay, because... It's the voice. Right? Because the times, what, what, what I hear, what is coming right now, okay, uh, distribution of, of the job, at some point they're going to make this thing uh, mandatory. Okay, go around from door to door, making sure uh, this one get it or that one get it. Okay, when you go to your jobs, okay, if you don't have that, you can't wait no more. Done. You know, man. Like, like, uh, um, uh, uh, I, I went to uh, the hotel, a, a big popular hotel over here, uh, Bahama. I went there to go drop off an order, okay? Because I do uh, the drive, the drive share thing, okay? And they thought the security thought I went. I was going there to pick up an order. So you know what he asked me? If I have my COVID test pass, you know. Can. I asked him what, what COVID test? You know, man. So he said, Oh, you, you, you can't let me inside of the table because I need to have a COVID test pass. You see? So at some point, okay, they're going to they're gonna, uh, need to have that. We're going to need to have that. Can. Or <sighs> we're going to be required to have that, I should say. Okay? So as the brother was saying, what he's, thought, what he's uh, thinking about last week. That's a serious thing. You know what I mean? You don't get no job because why? You don't get you don't get the COVID pass. Okay, we we know that they taking this job, okay, is a prelude to taking the mark of the beast. Gun. You know what I mean? 
So this job right now, okay, this past, this is going to affect every person in this world. Can. Because all the countries, them are doing it. You know that. You see what I'm saying? And it all goes back to your faith. Okay? Can. Are you have enough faith? Are you built up enough in this truth? Are you serving Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai in spirit and in truth? Okay, are you listening to him? Okay. You know, because guess what? The times are ahead that are coming is <laughs> far worse than what we living in right now. You know, and as Apostle Dahar deemed this year, uh, hastening the day of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Okay, we should be in that, 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 that mind frame. Okay?